spike lead is a, a default ability for uh, the chomper class, which allows chomper uh, to place down traps uh, for zombies to walk into. If a zombie does walk into a spike lead place, they it will be helpless for up to three seconds. And during at this time period, they are unable to use either primary, jump, or use any abilities. Alongside trapping uh, other zombies, some damage will uh, be dealt uh, depending on uh, the spike weed used. The default spike weed uh, it will deal 50 damage total, uh, while a spiky spike weed does 70 damage total. And meanwhile, a vamp weed does no damage, but it will heal Chomper at a 40 health. Uh, by the way, a spiky spike weed can be unlocked from uh, the sticker shop, uh, while vamp weed is unlocked at uh, the Ruxus store. Not only can uh, the spike weed be placed as traps, uh, but running up to a zombie and pressing spike weed could very easily trap them. If this strategy is used, it could even cancel uh, the following abilities. Imkata. Turbo Twister, Deadbeard's Barrel, a Cannon Rodeo, a Bolt Blaster, and Jackhammer. While the zombie is trapped in a spike weed, you have the option to also eat them from any angle. If you choose not to eat other zombie trapped in a spike weed, it simply be at a, a distance where you can bite or spray them. This is usually uh, the better options, so you're, you aren't left helpless. If you choose to eat a zombie after canceling a debut barrel, a cannon rodeo, jack hammer, or bolt blaster, remember this strategy, and I cannot stress it enough. Make sure uh, to wait at least one second uh, before eating. If you don't, uh, you will end up eating uh, the zombie's object instead of the player. Uh, this will most of the time uh, get you killed. Another thing uh, to keep a note of are, are the ranges uh, for spike weeds. A spike weed and spiky spike weed have uh, the biggest range uh, to grab a zombie, while a vamp weed has a slightly smaller range, so it may miss zombies if you try uh, to walk up and spike weed them. I don't have any footage showcasing this, but again, it's just something uh, to keep note of. A good strategy uh, to keep note of is eating any zombie that will give you one spike weed ability back. This uh, does not matter at which spike weed ability is being used. Another strategy that could be used with spike weeds are using them as stairs. If a chomper stands on a spike weed, his height will be increased by a tiny bit, allowing him to reach certain places. I mess around with this, and you may find some cool spots for chomper to reach. With that being said, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope this guide was helpful to you.